Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Connolly, but you can call me Crisco because I'm white, I'm smooth, and I've got fat in my can. <laughs> I would like to show you a demonstration of mind reading. Everybody, ooh, ah. Okay, I like to use a special kind of person for this. It helps to have people who are connected. Do we have any married couples in the audience? Anyone? Back there? Everyone's pointing at you. Yeah. Give her a round of applause. Come on up. Come on up. Just, just ma'am. Your husband can stay at his seat. Okay. I'll let you get off the hook. We'll be back to you. I promise you that. Hi. Hi. Thank you very much. You are very brave. Okay. Now to the magic part of the show. The part you've all been waiting for. Dina, I'm going to riffle through these cards. Please say stop at any time. Stop. Right there? Yeah. OK, so I'm going to give you this card. Now, it's very important. Do not let anyone else see it. Not me, not anyone in the audience. You should be the only. You want who knows what that card is. OK, so look at it, remember it, and put it in your pocket. OK, perfect. Now I'm going to ask your husband to stand up. Sir, would you please stand up for me? Give him a round of applause. What's your name? John, OK, now, you know, it's funny. I have a room in my house named after you. <laughs> Two rooms, in fact. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> now, as I said, I love to use married couples for this, because I find they have a certain connection between them, an inexplicable bond. Like, for example, Dina, do you ever look at John and know exactly what he's thinking? Yes, you do. And John, you look at Dina and you don't have a clue. <laughs> Well, we're going to test out my theory with a little device I call the magic mind reading machine. I bought it off eBay for $300. <laughs> it was an excellent purchase. You just can't beat it. <laughs> OK, now, Dina, let me show you how this works. You're going to step forward in just a moment, look out at the audience, hold it up to your forehead, crank it, and move up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> the magic mind reading machine, OK? Take the machine. Step forward, step right up, right up here, and crank it up. Sure. Go ahead, I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, Tina. <laughs> Keep cranking it, Tina. Keep cranking it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now let's see. John, I want to see if you're getting an impression of the color of the card. Just the color, red or black. I'm thinking black. Was your card black? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> that is truly amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to try again for this suit. It can be either clubs or spades, but I find this can get more difficult the more you're transmitting, so I'd like the audience to help me. Everyone's going to have to help me focus Dina's thoughts to John. So would you just lift one hand in the air and start waving your hands around? <laughs> Wave those hands. Dina, crank up the magic mind reading machine. <laughs> So you've got to really get down there. It's very important. You got to really get down there. Okay, let's see. John, are you getting an impression of the suit of the card? Was it a club or a spade? <laughs> Okay, a couple more times. Okay, let's see. Are you getting the suit, clubs, or a spades? Was your card a spade? Yes. That's truly unbelievable. Uh, Okay, we've done it twice, but there were only two choices. It was 50-50. Now's where it really gets tough. The exact value, it's a one in 13. So I have a special device to augment the magic mind reading machine, an additional magic mind reading device. Let me show you this. Can you put this in your mouth just like so? Give it a try, blow it. Okay, now what we're going to do, leave that in your mouth for a moment. Okay, now everyone start waving your arms around. Now you've got to crank up the magic mind reading machine and blow that out at the same time. Okay, you've got to get them both going together. Come on, wave those arms. Come on, up and down. Up and down. <laughs> you okay, Dina? See, you don't have to buy those exercise videotapes. Just come to my show, I'm telling you. Much easier. Now, Dina, in a moment, I'm going to ask John to name the exact card you selected. And when he does, the audience is going to go wild. It will be the loudest noise ever heard at Sachs Middle School. As a matter of fact, every time I do this trick, I get a standing ovation. You ready for this? John, what card is Dina thinking of? The five of spades? Is that your card? Take it out, throw it around. <laughs> Take it out. Yep. Show everybody. Okay, thank you very much. You can keep that as your souvenir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you like the show, I'm Chris Connolly. If not, I'm Dave Reed. I'll be in the back. Thank you.